I am building a Raman spectrometer. Based on a Raspberry Pi, it is 3D printable and built using readily available components from popular online sources. Raman is a spectroscopic technique that uses a monochromatic light source like a laser, and through Raman scattering, the light is shifted depending on the vibrational, rotational, and other modes of the molecules under observation. This technique allows for identification of a molecule based on its unique fingerprint of vibrational and rotational motion. Despite its weaknesses, Raman exhibits some major advantages. Raman can be used in aqueous solutions, and there is no destruction of the sample. In my system, the user inserts a cuvette containing a sample into the spectrometer. The spectrometer is controlled through a remote terminal, where it is instructed to perform an analysis. The spectrometer then powers up the laser. Next it selects the first edge filter, then continues by balancing the temperature of the cuvette. Once the cuvette has stabilized, it disengages the laser shutter and exposes the sample to the monochromatic light. The light is scattered and collected then filtered and spread across the CCD array for analysis. The snapshot is stored on the SD card. The shutter is then re-engaged, then the second filter is selected, and the process repeats. Then the spectrometer does some image stacking, combining the multiple exposures into one image. It then performs some Fourier transforms and derives its spectra of the sample. The spectra is then checked against the Aster and NV Internet spectral databases for a spectral match. The match is displayed on the remote terminal to the user, where it displays the chemical compound identified by the spectrometer.